All right, what is up, my friends? What the hell is Chunky Red? I know what it actually is, but it's fun to ask. Uh, we got a we got a fun Pioneer deck for you today. This is the Chunky Red deck that um, I believe originated from uh, one of our moderators, actually, Killagerm. Uh, Killagerm submitted this deck to be played on Todd Anderson's stream, and Todd liked it and was tuning it a bit, and it's been floating around doing the uh, doing the rounds on uh, the Hive Mind, if you will. Uh, it did very well at the Classic yesterday at SG Knoxville. Uh, I believe Dylan Donegan, Dylan Hand, both top aided with it, and then it also won the tournament. Um, I don't know who it was. Um, beating Ross and Merriam in the finals, though, so a little dig on Ross. And um, this deck has just been kind of blown up in Pioneer. And it's funny because it's just like a fairly simple mid-range red deck. And it's... Probably the best deck in the format right now, I guess. And what do we got here? Basically, just all the standard all stars of red in the last few years. We've got um, a removal suite that is reasonable for Wild Slash, for Lightning Strike, and then for Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant is very, very good in this deck. And then we have uh, no Chain Whirlers, main or board. That that surprises me. I think Chain Whirlers is phenomenal, but um. You got our Soul Scar Mages. No Chain Whirlers. Go to the Soul Scar Mages. A little weird. You got Kari Zev. Doesn't that a shock, which is kind of cool. Uh, Rob Master. Legion War Boss. A lot of individual power level here in uh, a lot of the cards. You know, this is not a red deck that's going to be like a Sly deck. Um, the we're not trying to you know one drop, two drop, burn spell, burn spell, burn spell. You. This is definitely a. This is basically just red jund if you want to look at it like that. So a lot of power, Rob Master. A lot of power in War Boss. Uh, we got Chandra, of course, is phenomenal, one of the best planeswalkers in the format. Glorybringer, one of the best creatures in the format. And then we got a little top end here to go over the top with two Gimli's and one Ember Cleave. And Ross is in chat. Rod, Ross says that Jund is already red. Get bent, Ross, you know what I mean. And Ross says the winning list had Chain Whirler, but Todd hates it with Four Muta Vault. I don't know. Chain Whirler is really, really good. However, part of what makes this deck good. And part of what's making, honestly, a lot of the monocolor decks in Pioneer so good is how good the lands are. So, Mono Black Aggro gets four Muta Vault and four copies of Castle Lockthwain. Castle Ember Hearth is not as good as Castle Lockthwain, but it's still very good. And then, Rhyme and Ruins, of course, was banned in standard. Um, and Muta Vault is phenomenal. So, a lot of value here. We're playing 26 lands to ensure that we can curve up all the way and cast all our spells. But we get a ton of value from 10 of our lands, which is awesome. So, Vanek and Magus, we're not a Devotion deck. You know, these are all single pips. This is more of, again, just a Jun deck. This is a deck where we're not trying to synergize, really. We're just playing cards on rate. You know, we're just killing things and playing good cards and killing our opponent. And it's pretty simple overall. Um, if you want to be a Devotion deck, the deck looks very, very different. Things like Burning Tree Emissary and so on and so forth. Boris, Reckoner, Goblin, Chain Whirler. So, um... Let's take a look real fast at the deck, at the deck that won, actually. Uh, I took the list that Dylan Hand and Dylan Donegan played. Um, it was just the exact same list. They had, like, one Tormod script different in the sideboard. Um, let's take a real fast look at the deck that actually won. This is the deck that beat Ross in the finals. And they were playing four Chain Whirlers. Uh, four Chain Whirler. They were playing no War Bosses. A Rekindling Phoenix over a Glorybringer. And Less Chandra, Less Land. So, four Chain Whirler still playing for... Oh, it's only two, only two Muta Vault. So, playing Chain Whirler and then taking the concession on the Muta Vaults. Chain Whirler is really, really good. Um, Lana or Elves is one of the pillars of the format. Uh, Mono Black Aggro with all their, all their Savannah Lions. Um, the Dredge deck falls to Chain Whirler. So, Chain Whirler is very good. But, we're going to try out the more stock version. This is Ross, the Dredge deck that Ross played to a second place finish. Ross thinks he's Tannin. But, um, yeah, so... That's the main deck. Cyborg's got Tormod Script for the Dredge matchup. Chandra's Defeat for the Mirror. Uh, killing uh, a Glorybringer for one mana is big game. Uh, two Abraid, two Fry, two Mizzy and Mortars, all reasonable cards. Uh, three copies of Scab Clan Berserker. Uh, this card's tight. This is a sort of a super Eidolon of uh, the Great Revel. It's got Haste and Renown. And once it hits them, it's a 3-3 Eidolon that's one-sided. 
So a very cool card for sideboards against combo decks, against control decks. Second Ember Cleave, when you're really feeling like yeah, you gotta push through there. So let's do it. Um, let's jump right into a league here with some Chonktacular Red. Hope everyone's feeling really chonky in chat. I just ate a fruit by the foot, so I am feeling extra chonky because I'm an adult and I steal my kids' snackies. Sorry, John. Don't tell John I was eating his, his fruit by the foots. All right. Party! New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Happy to have you. And uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about as well while I'm trying to load this, uh, this game here. I did a full set review on my YouTube. That's right. It looked something like this. Full set review. It is six hours long. It is seven videos. Everything you'd ever... Oh, that's Zibby. Everything you'd ever want to know about the new set is right here. Complete set reviews on my YouTube. Go check it out. Um, hours of content. Constructed, limited, total analysis. If you're asking me questions about what I think about cards in the set, there it is. It's all here. All right, Check that out uh, on my YouTube. And uh, I'm also playing the the uh, streamer early access event for Theros on Wednesday. It's going to be a long like 12-hour stream. My 10 new brews. Can't wait to do that as well. All right. Um, so we've got a uh, one lander. Let's mulligan. 26 lands. Can't even draw more than one. These are some nice mountains, by the way. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. It's kind of kind of unexciting, but Soulscar Mage is definitely uh, a little medium. A little medium. Blizzard 13 asks, "Is Wire Instigator a good lackier placement in modern?" No, Wire Instigator is very bad. Um, it is far too weak. It almost never connects. Lackey is not even that good, except when it is good, but it costs one at least. So the floor and the ceiling being, you know, it's low floor, high ceiling is okay in a one drop. On a double red two drop, just not a good card. Wild Slash, my Soul Scar Mage, sure. So they're playing Bow Mac Courier. We, we don't have a, a true mirror here. Our opponent is less chunky than we are. Probably because they didn't eat it for, eat it for by the foot. Muta Vault? Er. Go Muta Vault here. I don't know. Goblin Chain World is really good. Ross, are you still here? What do you think? Lightning Strike, sure. Um, mentor, it's my first time trying a set review. So if you're gonna if you're gonna watch a set review, please give me your feedback on it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. It's my first time doing it. I decided to do the full set review. Um, so I did I did all the comments and uncommons as well. There's some limited content in there too. Um, if you like that, if you don't like it, let me know. You know. All right, uh, we are not going to meet a vault here because if they have another wild slash. We basically just lose the game on the spot. So not a great hand. Not a great hand. We haven't run a spell yet, and uh, we have Mulligan and uh, stuff. A lot of players are going to their pre-release, so even if they don't if they don't play much limited, it's still useful for that too. So yeah, I'm big on Chain Whirler too, Ross. I like Chain Whirler a lot. We're not going to try and block. Just can't do it. Just can't do it. Spell. <laughs> it's so chunky. Why is this deck so chunky? All chunk. All chunk. All right, they go for the stomp. I mean, they're just emptying their hand for courier, which is pretty brutal. Looks like they're playing the Rakdos aggro deck that I played at the Invitational uh, last winter. We got chunks. We got chunks for days. Alright, I mean, it's actually pretty good for us. So we get to Glory Banger here. The question is, do we kill the Courier or the Bone Crusher Giant? Um, Bone Crusher is obviously much more of a threat, but this Courier is starting to stack up here. They missed a land drop though, so they have uh, they have three cards in hand. They're gonna have four. We're at 
14 will be going to 9 next turn. Nah. I think we got to kill the, the Bone Crusher Giant. We also have plenty of ways to kill Courier. We have 4 Wild Slash and all sorts of stuff. Tari's Death can also block it. I mean, it's, it's going to just draw a million cards, but... They also could have, like, Unlicensed Integration and other burn spells and stuff. Going lower just seems kind of dumb. So, Milos, am I saying that right? From Serbia, cool. Playing since Origins. You have your card, Champion of the Parish. You have your deck, Mono White Humans. First deck ever. Puppy name, Karn. Love it. Thanks, Milos. All right, Chandra into my Glory Banger. Kind of sucks. They drew a land, too. And they shocked off Blood Crypt. Which can either mean shock or it can mean just wanting to keep Courier up. Alright. I mean, we're going to try and attack the uh, Chandra. So. Ooh. That was pretty good, actually. Alright, let's uh, attack Chandra. Let's just start there. Alright, so, no shock. So we're just going to Wild Slash the Bomac Courier in their draw step when they have three cards in hand. Try and minimize the damage a little bit. And then we have an old Ember Cleave next turn, so we'll say go. Okay, they're just doing it. They just... So they had the Wild Slash. Wow. Okay. Their hand was Chain Whirler, Wild Slash. And they just dumped those two cards, and they're drawing up to five. Milosh? My friend, my bad. Sorry, thank you. Please, don't ever be shy about correcting me. Um, I, hate, I hate saying things wrong, and I always say things wrong. Milosh, thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. All right, so this is fine. We just say go here. They have six new cards. So not ideal. Not ideal, but... Obviously, stopping in their draw step there just says that we have Wild Slash, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, I'd say we're in trouble here. It's unfortunate because Bowman Courier should not get that big against us, but our Mulligan and our first few draw steps are not very kind to us. Soul Scar Mage. Sure. Goblin Chain Whirler. So we're going to have an a 02 Karizev. We could attempt to Wild Slash the Soul Scar Mage in response, but if they have a burn spell, we get blown out. Brutal. Heart of Kieran? Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, when your opponent draws five cards... It's not uh not usually good for us. Yeah, we're in pretty bad shape. We're in pretty bad shape. One, two, four. I mean, we got nothing here. Like, we just got nothing. We're just going to go next game, probably. Not a very good hand for us. Not a very good hand. Nice try, Mad Dad. Nice try. Party, if you want to see version 3 of the Grixis Fever Visions deck that was uh, all the rage, one of the best Eurodeck lives I've ever done, I actually decided to do it for my video on cool stuff this week. So we saw ep episode 1 and 2, or version 1 and 2, on my YouTube. There's version 3. It's on the, on the cool stuff. Check it out, coolstuffinc.com. Version 3 of Reggie Fever. 
All right. Check it. This version has uh, has uh, improbable alliance in it, which is pretty fun. All right. So Kareem Hardik here. I'm just gonna go to the next game. We're just getting crushed. All right. It's kind of a kind of a lame game there. Uh, they just like I guess it was a five for three, but. So they're like us, but they have vehicles, um, and Bomac Courier. Um, so you definitely want to braid in Chandra's defeat. What are we cutting? I'm not super interested in Torbran because things are going to be dying a lot, and. Just dies to Glorybringer and Chandra. So I'm not really big on that. I'm honestly not very interested in Soul Scar Mage either. Like Mizium Mortars. Unsure about Embercleave. It is very good, but. Like, we just got like the, the Soul Scar Mages and the Torbrins and just go really big. I think I want to leave one Embercleave. I don't think I want two. Um, the war bosses are obviously awkward against shocks, but I think we can. Ma I can make them good. You just time them right. Soul Scar Mage. It's got the Torbin and the four Soul Scar Mages. Because now we have more removal too, so we don't really need it. I really need early praise. Soul Scar Mage is pretty mopey, honestly. <laughs> Not really thrilled with Soul Scar Mage. Um. So our curve is still pretty good. Scab Clan Berserker is honestly not bad. But it's, it's on the play, I think it's fine. So if you can sneak that first shot and it's really, really good, but that's not really super great. So let's try this. I'm honestly not sure. Um, first time playing Videx, so we'll see. Mizium Mortars seems pretty good too. The overload on Mizium Mortars is no joke. Crispy says, hey, Jam, we played at the Modern League not too far ago. Also streamed the match. Thanks for the match. See, so, Crispy, what was the matchup? All right, let's uh, have a reasonable hand here. Sounds reasonable. Sure. One mulligans to six. No. Nope. All's fair in, uh, in love and mulligans. Dragon Skull Summit. The Rakdos mana is not great. I mean, they're playing for boating ruins, for God's sakes, you know? Maybe we should have Mute Vaulted on one. Honestly. I haven't played Mute Vaulted in a while. Yeah, we should have Mute Vaulted on one. Just a free two damage we just missed here. Oh man, they got the one lander. It's just bad TV. Just bad TV. Alright, so they go. Obviously not playing a uh, Rab Master into seven uh, seven spells. Yeah, I mean, this is just stupid. We're gonna play Chandra and they're gonna scoop. Oh no, Soul Scar Mage? That was sneaky. Alright, yeah, well. Concession in three, two, one. Nope, they're a trooper. Shot is really good. I think it's it gets heated. It was just scoop lag. It was just scoop lag. Shot is really good. Shot George Defiance is like <whistles> really, really good planeswalker. Right, let's, have a, let's have a good game three here. Both game one and game two kind of sucked. Maybe they had Chandra's defeat? I mean, maybe. That's true. That's true. Chandra's a bit of a liability because Chandra's defeat. Chandra's defeat's a pretty big game, honestly. As far as side workers, yeah. Um, I'm not like stoked about this hand, but 
because we have like just three kind of Moby removal spells, but pretty happy with on the draw. We have Chandra. We're building up to a Chandra, which is great, so. Oh, Crispy, we just played? Yeah, I was playing Goblin Storm. Oh yeah, you turned three at us, you crushed us. Alright. I could have played Mutavald, I guess. It's a little different. Alright, we're just gonna kill this. We're gonna be exiling a removal. Uh, Glory Banger, sure. Sango, sure. Alright, you're up. Is there any way to get Sarkin's Unsealing into Pioneer? I did do a service on my Your Deck Live service where I play your decks, where you can just give me a card and I'll build you the best possible deck I can with that card. So that's a possibility. Your Deck Live, go to jimdavismtg.com, look at the, uh, the details. Alright, I mean... I feel like we're both in don't do stuff mode. Um, if we play a Chandra, they can just like defeat it. It's kind of hard to get value off the Chandra too. I think we just chill, honestly. Interesting. They have five cards in hand. You know, we're ahead on cards, technically. Although Scrounger is going to get some stuff back eventually. Like, we want to gain value off our Chandra. Let me just say go. Yeah. I think that I would like to play Chandra with three mana up so I can plus it and hopefully hit a spell off of it. Just guarantee a two for one. So they have their own Glorybringer. So this is perfect. So we just now need to get Chandra the Glorybringer. Just want to gain that value, you know? This can't do damage to Planeswalkers, right? Nope. So we're guaranteeing Chandra's a two for one here, which is nice. Because we're not going to fire a Mita Vault, so. If they have another Glory Bringer, that gets them back to, uh, to even. But. We can, like, double spell to kill it if we have to. If we Bone Crusher or Lightning Strike it, it's not that bad. We still, we still get the Bone Crusher Giant, so. Matt, pour one out for Loxo bots, I know. I know. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, sorry, Loxodon. There should be a, an addendum to the banning. You're allowed to play Mox Opal if Venerated Loxodon, Memnite, and Ornithopter are in your deck. So now we're way ahead on cards. We have six and they have three. I'm still just saying go. Oh, yeah, Scrounger. So we can just stomp the Scrounger. That's fun. I want. I was, I was almost going to stomp them anyway, so... They have four cards now. The Lattice Band feels awesome. Are you kidding me? Another Scrabby Scrounger? That's kind of crappy. 
If I kill one scrounger, it's gonna get the other one back. Yeah. Bone Crushy J. G. 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 Not J. I can't spell giant. You heard it here first. Glory banger again. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with just double lightning strike on the glory banger. We're ahead on cards at the moment, and we have good threats to deploy, so we can just bang right back. Don't want to get two for one here, so it's just two for. One. I don't want to get two for one and lose my giant. Let's get two for one like this. Cool, y'all. Yeah. The uh, Reggie, Reggie Spaghetti deck. So, yeah, we're going to bang her here and fire in for a big attack and then stomp the scrounger they get back. Rab Master is still too fragile to cast, so we'll just bang her. Bangerang! Chandra's defeat. That's hell lame. Alright. I mean, these grounders are really good against us, unfortunately, but. Growth Chamber Guardian? Yeah, I don't think that card's good enough without the Henge, though. If you have Henge in play, you're already winning. I don't think you need Growth Chamber Guardian to make Henge good. Stomp. Stomp dee dump. Stomp dee dump. They want to kill their own creature they can to fizzle the stomp, you know? But... Here comes. Here comes what? They got two cards left. So right now I have three effective cards left, and a mute vault, and my draw step. So I'm ahead by two cards, but they have scroungers. So Here's they be munching away back there. That's kind of weird. So they're just casting Bone Crusher Giant. They're not even attempting to adventure at first. Which means they want all this mana available. Because they want a double scrappy. It's interesting. What's up, Stu? All right, we're gonna we're gonna kill this uh, this bone crusher giant. We're gonna fire up Mutavolt and attack, and we're gonna play bone crusher giant. They're getting pretty low here, and low on cards. It's not rabble time yet. Almost rabble time. Almost. We're going to rabble time and take over the game. They're attacking for a large portion of their life total here. And they have no blockers. They have these scroungers, but no blockers. So... What's the last card in their hand?
They're not playing Embercleave. They're playing the Rakdos Vehicles deck that I played at the Invitational. They don't play Embercleave. Tense game. Tense game. Lava Coil, sure. It's a card that we're missing. Lava Coil for these scroungers. I suppose we are in a little bit of a pickle here. If they have, I mean, if their last card's a spell. All right, Braid's pretty good. All right, let's fire up Album Master. It's time. And four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just gonna move to combat. We're effectively at three, thanks to this uh, this Remnant ruin. So we are uh, up against it a little bit here. We can block a Mutavolt and a Braid, so. It's gonna feel bad if it like ruins us and strike us, but wild slash the album master. All right, so as long as I don't draw out on us, we win. Break for one turn, please. Yeah, I kept the Abraid to kill Hardikirin. Maybe it was wrong, but... That's game. Alright, so... Um, I'm, like, mostly happy that I played that game. I think we took a little too much damage at the end there. I'd rather have been at 6 than 3. And our choice to strike over a braid on the Glorybringer... I mean, obviously, if we still had to strike, they would have been dead. But Hardikirin's pretty annoying, and they had Scroungers, so I wanted to ins insulate against Hardikirin, because we definitely just lost to Hardikirin. So, interesting game, though. Interesting game. Chunky Red, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. It is Mog Monday, but you missed it. It's earlier in the morning. So, it'll be up on YouTube tonight for Mog Monday. Uh, we played Dirty Kitty, Fecundity, Combo Goblins, and Modern. It was a lot of fun. And um, lots of stuff going on. A lot of content. Uh, my, my full set review is up on YouTube. I'm doing the early access stream on Wednesday. Uh, busy week for me. Busy week. So, lots of cool stuff to watch. Uh, exciting times in Magic, you know? Uh, we're going to keep this... We got Bone Crusher is quite good. And it's like Bone Crusher Giant is just so good. Like if they just printed Bone Crusher Giant without Stomp as a rare, it would have been like, oh, all right, that's a pretty good card. Like a, a four three with no drawback in red with an, with an ability, that's pretty good. The fact that it's also just a two for one and a shock is just absurd. Absurd. All right, so um, on the play. Soul Scar Mage is uh, it's pretty reasonable. Definitely like that. Uh, like that stomp action. Give me a little stompy stomp stomp. Come on, Soul Scar Mage, get in the red zone. Oh my God! Yes, go. All right, so red, green, something. Karizev number two. 
All right, so we're most certainly not playing Rabble Master into open mana. Um, probably splashing, casting Bone Crusher Giant. Straight chilling, you know? Straight chilling. They stomp my stool my soul scar mage. Sure. And Elvish Mystic. Is it time to play Rabble Master? I mean they played game trails, they couldn't have played the bunk rusher if they wanted to. I mean, theoretically. Yeah, it's time. So you can tell I'm rather stingy with my Rabble Masters. I want to make sure that they hit. Um, and then also, I mean, it's mostly that we draw a land, we can double spell next turn. So, feels like a good time to play it. I have no idea what's going on. They went Stopping Ground... Shock, go. If I was smart, I could definitely figure this out. What would they need five mana for? Whatever. Move to combat. Company, but they have they already have four mana. Why do they need five mana for? That's my point. You know, <laughs> what's the what's the deal? Um, we're just coming in. There are ten. I've got two lightning strikes. Whatever. I would love to, for you to show them what you got, opponent. What's up, Ephraim? I guess that's fine. I mean, shocking to block to jump block is kind of like unexciting, but all right, they're accompanying. For a Rabble Master and a Rabble Master. Uh, I've seen better companies. So. You can like double single. Let me just move to blocks here. This is fine. Chonky, chonky, chonky red. Chonky red. Alright. Um, there are 10 going to 6. I doubt they can gain life. Let me just kill them. We'll just like let this happen. We'll their Rabble Master will stay alive, and we'll just end step strike them and our turn strike them. Those are playing like scavenging use, or they actually literally kill us next turn. I think this is fine. Um, yeah, it's all very reasonable. Gruel Spellbreaker. I guess oh, I'm so bad. Now I can't lightning strike them. Ugh. That's so annoying. I just clicked too fast. Alright, that's really awkward. Random 4 4 did not seem relevant at the time. Uh, it was relevant, but that's okay. Alright. Yeah. Now let's draw a land here. Land. Yeah. No problem. Not a problem. Play bad. Win anyway. No punishment here. We never get punished. Never. Even though we had to wait an entire turn cycle, I'm pretty sure we're not dying, so. Hmm. Hmm. So they're just assuming that I have two strikes and I'm an idiot? I, I respect that, honestly. I actually respect that concession a lot. So they, they conceded on the first strike, assuming we had a second strike. But we obviously drew a land. So they're just assuming we're an idiot and didn't strike them in response to the Gruel Spellbreaker. I respect that. That was actually like the most strategically insulting concede I've seen in a long time. That was... That was great. I like that a lot. 
All right, so um, let's see. We're going to want some defeats, and we're going to want some Mizium Mortars. Um, I'm, like, pretty unenthused about Soul Scar Mage, just, like, in general. I feel like Soul Scar Mage is just a concession to the fact that, like, we need to beat on combo and control decks sometimes. It's actually have a one, having a one-drop is good, but it just seems so bad, realistically. Um, so defeat Mizzy and Mortars are fantastic. Do you have interest in a Braid as even more removal? I don't think so. We have four Shock, four Bone Crusher, four Strike, two Mortars, four Glorbringer, three Chandra. Also makes it much easier to beat a five-five. What wild? What a uh, Soul Scar Mage? What five-five are they playing? They're not ghosting. Was everyone's always so quick to? They were, they were ghosting, they would have scooped the, the previous turn. Like, um, Also, how interested are we in Torbran? Like, they definitely have, like, Glory Bringer. Could have, could have others. Oh, Love, that's true. Love Sharp Beast is a card. But, I don't think... Doubling up with Soul Scar Mage is great against Love Struck Beast. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not, I think a Braid could maybe come in. I think maybe you want some number of Soul Scar Mages. I'm not sure about Ember Cleave. I have a lot, I have a lot of questions, but the clock's ticking. We're just submit. They ban cards. Yes, the bans are great. Uh, Mox Oval's finally dead. Micros and Lattice did not see that one coming, and I'm really, really happy about it. Uh, Karn, the Great Creator, is a miserable magic card because of Micros and Lattice. And Oko being banned is great. It's just be banned in everything, so it's stupid. So, pretty happy with the bans overall. Hmm. The old Double Mute Vault Tour Brand hand, eh? Right, we're going to keep this in. It's not super great, but... No Elvish Mystic? Impossible. Ooh. That felt bad. Embercleave has not looked good so far. We've been playing mostly like kind of grindier like matchups. Heart's Desire, sure. I wish we had Chain Whirler too. Chain Whirler's tight. Alright, we're not wild slashing this human. Uh, I would stop it though. I definitely am interested in stopping it. Alright, let's play this and say go. Just having a plan for Love Shark Beast is a good idea. I should not have let that attack. I should have killed at the beginning of combat. I guess they have. But that, mind, that card's not even legal. Um, yeah, we're gonna stomp here. I don't have a play next turn, so playing Bone Crusher is pretty good. And if we can keep them off one ones, obviously the Beast is fine. Yep. Chunky red. Play burn spells and then you feel the plain chunky red. They have a Rob Master, which is fine. Each block the token. Let me get to kill the Rob Master. Take a hit here, but it's fine. Um, we can Chandra Wild Slash. Although they have a 1-1. One, one. And the beast gets to attack again. That's pretty gross. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting spot. Yeah. Four cards in hand. Love Shark Beast is really good. We should, probably, we should probably have a plan for that card. Five, uh, five, five is big.
I guess we're just wild slashing Rabble Master and attacking Immuta Vault. They have another Rabble Master. It's pretty gross. Um, we do have Ember Cleaves. So we're like building towards an Ember Cleave turn. And we have Torbrand. But uh, I'm going to do this and not really like it. I should have Blossom Defense. That'd be sick. I'm not thrilled about this. This is like really, really soft to a war boss or a uh, or a rabble master or a company for both. They do have scavenging goose. All right, it's fine. Sure. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, okay. So I mean, now we just Chandra kill scavenging goose. That's like easy game. Just take the one for one, attack for four, set up for an Ember Cleave attack. I like that. Yeah, you missed Mog Monday. Mog Monday is always in the morning. But um, that's okay. It'll be, it'll be up on YouTube tonight. B Armstrong, resub. I'm very happy Mox Opal's banned. Long time coming. Although I am sad for Loxobots. Stomp the Chandra. Sure. So it's like a... It's not really a two-for-one, but... It's something. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot Love Struck Beast can block. I'm just so stupid. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Alright, well, I just, I just punted the game. It doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. Whoopsie! Um, yeah, it obviously just can't attack. Like, if you asked me that, I would have told you that. I don't know why I had it in my head that it could block. For, it could, I couldn't block for some reason. All right, well, we're just making our life harder. It's okay. You know, we're going to power our way through. Sometimes, um, you know, you just make things hard for yourself for no reason. Not a problem. We got this Ember Cleave. Just going to make it happen. Is Affinity still a deck? No. I think the Artifact Lands should have been unbanned. Lava Coil. Oh my god. This game's embarrassing. Chandra. Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're literally just dying to Love Struck Beast. We just can't kill it. Um, I guess we can Chandra minus on Lana Ralph. They only have one card left, so they don't have a 1-1. One, one. We have to hold back a little bit. Um, uh, yeah. This is a little, uh, a little we could have plussed and like gone, gone for like the super get lucky, but that's kind of crazy, so. No one, one, please. Stomp again, and all forests. Um, Shatter's Defeat. We can't Ember Cleave a Muta Vault. We're always one short, right? We animate Muta Vault, attack. Oh, no, we're not. We can. Um, and then it would trade with the Love Struck Beast. That's fine. Can't block, right? I mean, we just go for it. I mean, this is six damage, and we can just equip Ember Cleave later, so... I mean, they can cast both Bone Crusher Giants, but we can Chandra's Defeat one and Ember Cleave attack the other. So that's that's not lethal though. Bone Crusher Giant. Oh man. This is actually pretty good. Um. We just Bone Crusher equip, and then they have to play around exactly, exactly Chandra's defeat, or they just die. Yeah, we're going for it.
I guess they either it's actually one short, they draw one on two, but Alright, so and tap. We draw Chandra. That's pretty good too. And we have defeat also, and they're at seven. Yeah, this all looks pretty good. So kill a bone crusher giant, and then it's Ack for 100 million billion damage. And they don't really have any good blocks here, so. Yes, I actually am going to, Mag to Magic Fest, New Jersey. So, who am I going to see there at Magic Fest, New Jersey? You are dead. So despite completely throwing away a creature for no reason, still got it. Still got it. Raise your hand in chat if you'll be at at, uh, at GP New Jersey. The hands make it more clear clear to me. Setting a mute vault there is um, is risky if they have an answer to Embercleave or something like that because then they can attack back and maybe kill us. So, all right, two and oh, chunky red. Um, let's do this. Remember, folks, folks, the Nachi's power resub, 15 months. They ban Mox Opal? What? Remember, folks, check CoolStuffInc.com, CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for all your game shopping needs. Go buy your new modern deck. Sorry, uh, Mox Opal players. Unless you're a Loxobots player, in which case I am actually deeply sorry. 5% uh, off, promo code JIM5. Uh, tons of new content on there. Uh, MTG, MTG Nerd Girls uh, Limited review is up. Uh, my new video is up. Uh, Grixis Fever Visions Part 3. Um, lots of cool stuff on CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. And of course, my article this Friday will be my 10 new brews article. Don't want to miss that. Friday, CoolStuffInc.com. All right, check it out. And if you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What am I liking in Pioneer? I haven't played much Pioneer lately, honestly. Um, this deck seems really good. Thanks, Rob. Okay. Swamp. They're on Mulligan to six. They have a Blood Soak champion. So I've wanted Chain, chain Whirler every single game so far. Just gonna throw it out there. Uh, Soul Scar is fine. Thought Seize. Annoying. I only have like two actual good spells, but. If they mulligan on the play, then trading resources one for one is like kind of fine. So, glory bangers gone. Ooh, they have no land. Wow. It's like almost worse, I think, because if they're rather than be flooded and screwed, because oh never mind, they have lands. They're playing their knight at Ebon Legion into my wild slashes. Spold. Bolt. So champion's fine. Um, honestly, they don't kill Rabble Master super well. Why did I play this list rather than one more chain roller? Because uh, my former teammate Dylan Hand and uh, Dylan Donigan, another friend of mine who's very, very good, both played this list in the Classic top eight. And I, tr I trust both of their judgments. Uh, Do we kill the Scrappy Scrounger? Both their creatures are very durable. Um, I think we do. They're kind of mana light. I'll just get the the wild slash down. Start attacking them. Let me get the Rabble Master down. Mister Bravado, resell. Welcome back. Mutavolt is really good. Like, I get the tension between Mita Vault and uh, Chain Whirler, but. Plenty of decks play Chain Whirler on, like, 22 lands. And we're playing 26 lands. And four of them are Mita Vaults. So it's not like we, you know, we're playing any less red sources than other decks, too. You don't have to cast it on turn three, either. It's obviously a very good Soul Scar Mage, too, but. 
Yeah. Take it. Take it. No problem. So I need a land for Murderous Rider, or they can't kill my Rabble Master. Knight of Ebon Legion. So if we Wild Slash the Knight, they can, then, then they can Fatal Push their Rabble Master. Um, I would say that we just fire up Mute of Vault and Attack. Yes, Chain Whirler is also very good with Torbrand. Like, it makes a lot of sense for Chain Whirler to be in the deck. So, fire up Mute of Vault, move to combat. I said fire up Mute of Vault, move to combat. Thank you. So we'll, we'll allow them to eat a 1-1 one -one if they want to. If they want to chump and turn on Betel Push, I'm also cool with that. Take a million. No? They're going to push my Muta Vaults? Well, in that case, we'll kill the, uh, the Knight now and keep our Goblin alive. Deals an extra point, too, so... Yes, Rob Master does for, force me to vault to attack. That is pretty funny. That is pretty funny. I like it. Yes, obviously playing Muta Vault and Mountain, I mean Muta Vault and Chain Whirler is a bit of a Namba, but like I said, there have been plenty of decks in Magic that play Chain Whirler, that play 22 Mountains and no other lands. And we're playing 26 lands, so we have just as many sources as they do. You know, obviously you got to plan your land drops out a little bit, but... That's a pretty easy game there. Um, opponent was, you know, mulligan a six. It didn't, it didn't really do too much. Um, we're going to cut Embercleave for sure. Um, we're going to bring in all of our removal. And what else are we going to cut? I just don't like Soulscar Mage. In any matchup where I don't need to attack, I can just be the control deck. I just don't want Soulscar Mage at all. Um... What would I want over the fourth Soul Scar? Maybe just leaving one in is not that the end of the world. I don't think I want Embercleave. I feel like we just beat them. Uh, I feel like we just beat them straight up. Just by playing uh, our big threats. Yeah, I'll just leave one Soul Scar Mage in. Whatever. It's fine. We're on the draw, so yeah, we, have, we have the card advantage, and we have the top end. Tormod script, no, no. Like, maybe one Embercleave, because like, they do have a lot of recursive threats. Yeah, maybe we should play one, play the one Embercleave. The fact that we have, like, zero exiling removal at all does concern me a little bit. Like, I don't think playing Anger of the Gods in a sideboard would be insane. Or just Magma Spray, I guess, but... Magma Spray is a little meh. No, we don't need Grab... I mean... I don't think we need Grab Digger's Cage or things like that. I think it's like the Dredge deck, sure, but... This is fine. We're gonna keep. We're on the draw with the removal spells. Again, we're the control deck, so... Sure. Now they're playing Mizzy and Mortars over Lava Coils. I mean, Mortars is better against, like, some decks, because kicking it is very, very reasonable. Uh, I'd also rather have a Magma Spray over Lava Coil, because killing... I guess killing a uh, Rekindling Phoenix is a thing, but Spray is better against Mono Black. I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure. A lot of options. Definitely a lot of options. All right, they take Chandra, sure. Bomb Crusher Giants also does really good against them. 
Right. I mean, obviously we need to draw land, but we have three kill spells to buy time, so... No creature? That's wild. Crazy person over here. Castle Lockthwain is good, obviously, but... Well, I'm just not doing anything. Why would I ever do anything? Chonky! Heh! That's pretty cute. Um... Hmm. It sucks if uh, one of these lightning strikes was a shock. I'd be really happy just to stomp end step, and then um, and then rob master lightning strike. I still stomp here, I think, and we'll just lightning strike it. It's it's like it's a shitty two for one. It's not, it's not, I mean, it's, in, it's just a bunch of bone, a bone Rusher Giant. I kind of want to just cast Bone Rusher Giant anyway, so this is fine. Knight is obviously very good against us, probably one of their best creatures. Second Glorybringer is definitely uh, appealing, so. We're chonked up here. I mean, we have four awesome threats and a kill spell. I mean, I imagine they have a bunch of removal in their hand. Or we're just flooding, but... Mm. Give me the old Bone Crusher Giant. Feel free to Murderous Rider my Bone Crusher Giant and take four, my friend. Yep. Double Lockthwain. Three cards in hand. So they're, just, they're just flooding pretty bad. Which is fine. Um, oh boy, what's this? Rankle. Rankle Shanker. Um... So the question is, if we draw a land, are we getting Glorybringer? Probably not. They easily have Grasp of Darkness. Um, let's see what they do here. I mean, if we discard, Wild Slash can go, to the, go, can go in the pooper. I don't really care. Just nothing? Just a vanilla 3-3 three, three for 4? Sure. Uh, Legion War Boss. Right. So we'll just say go. We'll strike it on their turn. We're in the happy spot where we can draw a land or a spell or a spell and we're pretty happy, so. Sure, Murderous Rider, fine, fine, fine. I mean, I don't mind trading a token and a slash for Murderous Rider, so... Let's see, um... Yeah, we're gonna play one of our war bosses now. They only have two cards left, it's time to start trading things off. Um... What would I rather live? Probably Rabble Master. So we'll war boss here. I'm okay. Take this exchange. Castle Locked Wayne is very good, but we obviously uh, are a red deck. We can deal damage pretty well, so. So I gotta deal with the Boar Boss in play, and the two bangers in my hand, and the Robin Master, and we have a Wild Slash hanging out too, so. It's 
So Castle, Lava Spike themselves to draw a card, sure. Meet of all plays. Meet of all plays. If they like rankle again, it's a little annoying. I mean, we, 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 have, we have the banger lined up, but. So they could like activate Meet of all and trade more boss for Meet of all. That's kind of fine, I guess. I mean, if they have a swift end also, this is like. A little annoying, but it's not really the end of the world, I guess. Each player sacks creature, sure. Two cards left. And a Knight of the Ebon Legion. Uh... Okay. I mean, I guess we just rabble. I mean, obviously, getting a token of the rabble mesh makes the it like neuters the rankle almost completely. All right, let's see what their last card is. Move to combat. Let's see if it's grasp of darkness. Get the token, and attack. Deck was on the overlay now, if you're looking for it on Cardboard Live. So we get in for one, they go to 12, and every life point matters because they have uh, the Castle Lockthwain in play and they're flooded. Um, now I have an extra token for Rankle, which is great. So, And if you just draw a land for Glory Bangers, we just Glory Banger all day. So that's cool. Scrap Heap Scrounger. It's deck, folks. Explanation point deck. Come on. And your first rodeo. Rankle comes in. Two and up so far. Two and up. They're gonna grasp a darkness. My war boss. They must have just drawn that. Then they're going to trade Scrounger for Goblin. And they're going to... Sure, so we just, we just draw a land here. Each player discards, each player sacrifices. This sucks as, like, I want to pitch the Rabble Master so I have two Glory Bangers, but I gotta have a play next turn if they, uh... If we don't draw a land, so we'll discard a Glory Banger. It feels bad, but... They can obviously return Scrounger. Oh, just draw a land, please. Or Bran. Again, not the end of the world. We are dying. But. Jay, resub, 13 months, thank you. They have castle too. It's kind of rough. We just like, can't can't glory banger, you know. They're gonna castle, sure. They go to nine. I mean, Torbrand's also live too. I mean, Torbrand just kills them next turn if they uh don't do anything. See what the old rankle does here. Nothing? Okay. Two 
two black. Ultimate price. Draw a land. No. <laughs> Why can't we just draw a land? <sighs> oh my god. All right. Get in for three. I draw a kill spell, we're dead, but what am I supposed to do here, you know? Is turn 11. Oh, God. Spawn of Mayhem? Sure. Alright. Uh... That's kind of a weird attack, right? Why would they do that? Draw land. Win the game. They probably do each player loses a life and draws a card here. They're currently dead on board, so... Player discards a card and sacrifices a creature. Sure. So. They're going to sacrifice Scrounger. They have Spawn of Mayhem. I think we need to draw a land. We can't, uh, we can't take leave Wild Slash here. They can just block Dwarven. And, uh,. Yeah, we just gotta draw a land for, for Glorybringer. We're gonna have Torbin in, in play against a 4-4 a and a tapped Rankle and we're dead next turn. Um, we're not doing draw. Alright, so that's interesting. So yeah, we just jump the Slash. Wait, 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 wait. Now we're one short on that too. If we, uh, we could Slash the 4-4 and then pump Castle Emberhearth to kill them. No, it's still only, that's not enough. Oh right, yeah, we just grab a slash. Gotta draw land. Gotta draw land. Better late than never, but never late is better. Come on! <laughs> I mean, this is actually fine, so we're just going to trade off everything here. Alright, so we attack, they have to block, and then we just lightning strike the, the the rankle. And like... Oh wait, hold on, what's this do? Hold on, hold on. We gotta read, we gotta read. At the beginning of your upkeep, Spawn of Mayhem deals one damage to each player. Hmm... Then if each play, then if you have ten or less life, put a counter on Spawn of Mayhem. Yeah. All right. Cool. So, I have Scrounger too. Right. So, yeah. So this is this is great. We did it. We did it. Spawn of Mayhem. Upstairs. I read cards occasionally, once in a while. It's like a hobby of mine. Not like a hobby, like you know. Um playing hockey or golf or something. More like a hobby, like, going to the gym once in a while and pretending to be fit, like, you know, once every month or two. All right. You are dead. Didn't even need Glorybringer. Didn't even need it. The fifth land won the game for, like, seven turns straight. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Who needs Glorybringer? Right, Zibby? Who needs Glorybringer? All right, three zero. Chunky Red is uh is clearly chunky strong here in Pioneer. All right, folks, check out Colos Apparel Design that shop. Go buy some Magic shirts. They're not even designed super fun. They are mad soft and they are mad comfortable. Seriously, they're light, they're airy, they're comfortable, they feel great. Check them out, Colos Apparel and dot shop. Promo code Jim Ten. They have all the Guild shirts, the Wooberg shirts, making shirts for me soon. So check them out, Colos Apparel. And design that shop. Also check out the hexholder.com brand new product. Here it is. Look, light, easy, convenient. 
Holds four double sleeve decks. Holds your Zibby. Holds your playmat. Holds your dice. Holds your pens. Everything you need for a magic tournament. You go into F and M. Carry this. No baggy backpack. Don't try and carry all your stuff. It's right here. TheHexOlder.com. Promo code Jim10. Check that out. And of course, um, Cardboard Live. You see the overlay. It's pretty sweet. Big stuff coming. Big stuff coming. 2020 for Cardboard Live. If you're a content creator, get involved. Please message them, email them, and get involved with Cardboard Live uh, pronto. BCW Supplies. Big sale. Best sleeves in the market are on sale right now. The Elite 2 sleeves, 25% off. Only in January. Use promo code uh, Elite25 on bcwsupplies.com. Buy a five pack, you'll get them for like $5 a pack. Of 100 packs of the best sleeves in the market. Check them out. bcwsupplies.com. Bangarang. Um, this hand's fine. This hand's like, a, like an aggro hand. It's like all burn spells and one drops, but this is fine. We can keep this. How sturdy of a dividers? It's a, it's a solid piece of plastic. Comes out like you can. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. You can just put put your own deck box in here. But it's pretty solid. Pretty solid. All right. Oh my God, we're so dead. Where's the channel points option to feed Zibby a magic card? Zibby doesn't chew like gerbils do, and uh, Zibby's nocturnal, so he sleeps during the day usually. Uh, but um. So there is no option. I will, I will add more channel point options soon. I don't know how we ever beat this deck, realistically. They just have to like not um, draw a lifelink aura, I guess. Excuse me. Hemisium Mortars, probably not good enough. We just gotta kill him, honestly. Just gotta kill him. I mean, there are certainly less lifelink auras in Pioneer, the Daybreak Coronet, but there is uh, the Armadillo Cloak. Is it be a vampire? I'm a vampire! I'm a vamp. Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, doesn't really help. Alright, let's tag, I guess. I mean, if we can guess Torben on turn 4, we can definitely kill him on turn 5. They also didn't do anything, which is kind of nice, so... He's a vampire! He's a vampire! He's a vampire! Saram? Oh, boy. That's great. They're just leaving their Saram out to dry like this? Alright. Land Mountain. Sweet. Tight. So we just stomp the. Uh, actually, I guess I stomp. No, it's the same thing. Uh, we hit this. And. I. We could wild slash them. For four points of damage. Yeah, we're just gonna wild slash them. Hope we draw a land for Torbrin next turn. Then we untap and just kill them with these things. Alright, they're at nine. Uh, no. That. Yeah, that card. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that card. Hopeful Eidolon. That's my card. Alright. Um, damn it, we didn't draw a land. Think we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble. I like Hopeful Eidolon. I mean, we're doing a lot next turn, you know? No Vigilance would be cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we're dead. Alright. Exact damage? Oh, come on. Not like that. Yeah, I mean, obviously... Beating Boggles seems very, very hard for us. 
That hand was also very good. Uh, so good it blew up the computer. Yeah. Um, about boggles. Uh, we don't really uh, interact with them in any meaningful way. Uh, we're going to bring in, like, I guess Scab Clan Berserker and Embercleave and cut the Chandras and cut some number of Glory Bangers and pray. If you missed Mog Monday, it'll be up uh, uh, this evening on YouTube. Don't want to spoil it for anyone. Mog Monday, this evening on YouTube. Alright, yeah, I'm sure to try and kill him, I guess. Like, we gotta get pretty lucky to win, I think. Uh, yeah. We'll keep all the burn spells they can target players. Modern is alive again? Eh. Modern's still pretty modern, you know? Jesus. Mizium Mortars kicked. Actually killing a Boggle is a pipe dream. Uh, it's a pipe dream. What is Mog Monday? Good thing you asked, my friend. We do some shows here on the stream. They're scheduled. Uh, Mog Monday is uh, basically a show where I play one league of goblins every Monday morning around 9, 10 a.m. And it's goblins in some form, but half the time... It's just my best modern goblins deck and my best legacy goblin deck. And then half the time, it's like fun brews. We did a, we did a really fun dirty kitty goblins today. It's like fecundity goblin combo. Um, so Mog Mondays every Monday. Um, if, you're new to, if you're new to my stream or new to me as a, a magic player, um, I'm someone known for playing goblins a lot in formats. I've done, been playing goblins for a really, really long time. Played it at Pro, at Pro Tour Barcelona this last year. Um, played it to many opens. I lost lost the finals of Invitational with goblins. Top 8 at GP with goblins. So... Goblins, goblins, goblins. And we only have one drop, one drop, so we're going to keep. We also have the Scab Clap Berserker, which is pretty good. So so that's Mog Monday. Mog Monday. Mog Monday. Just another Mog Monday. Point of ball against the six. There are, are only so many boggles in Pioneer. Is there a reason to not play Rampaging Ferocidon in this deck? It's a possible option. There's a lot of three drops, but... My thoughts on Storm as a deck. A little more specific than that. In in what format? In what context? What do you, I mean, a little more specific, specific, please. What's up, Chico? You're halfway through the Theros full set review. Awesome. Yeah, we just we just did that too. There's so much to talk about. Um, full set review. If you missed it on my YouTube, there's six hours worth of content, seven videos, full set review, every color, every card, constructed, limited, you name it. All on my YouTube. That's uh, Jim Davis MTG on YouTube. I'll put the link in the uh, chat for y'all. Check it out. A Danto Vanguard. That's not quite a boggle. Not quite a boggle. I mean... We just pop in the old Scab Clan Berserker here, right? Make him take four. Or, um, Berserk it up. I like Scab Clan Berserker. I am a fan. Peanut time. Getting hungry. Pretty good, pretty good. Leaving it back on D. Wow. Um. Okay. I mean, Modern Storm is what it is. It's obviously kind of frustrating to play against. 
I think if it's the best deck in the format, that's a bad thing. I think if it's a deck, it's fine. Um, it is what it is. You know, definitely can be annoying to play against if your deck can't interact with them, but... Alright, I mean, like... I guess we can't really attack with anything. This has Menace, but this block token to gain life. Um... We're just lining up Glorybringer, I guess. I suppose we could stomp and strike them. You can't... Damage being prevented doesn't stop indestructible. So if this is protection, that would work, but it's not. It's, uh, it's just indestructible, so it just can't die. Yeah, let's just say go and stomp and strike them. Like, if we can surprise them, so they don't attack, if they do something else, if we can go 5 damage, end step, Glorybringer, attack, exert, and they, they gotta pay 4 life to stay alive, and then 4 life for Glorybringer, Glorybringer might be a, a thing. Hope Light Along. We might strike the Vanguard too. We'll see what they do. They're just casting Hope Light Along? Okay. And they're casting all the glitters on a Danto Vanguard. Kind of a tilt. Alright, so we'll strike the Vanguard response. And then we're going to stomp the Hopeful Eidolon. It's only plus 3 plus 3. It's about to be plus 2 plus 2. I mean, this isn't like that bad. not great that's for sure but they're gaining seven and we're dealing I mean a lot but probably not enough we draw an embercleave like next turn maybe there's a chance but probably should die next turn honestly I mean the renown is on so that does something Cartouche of Strength? Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> they gain so much life. So they get to fight something and gain seven life. And then it's, ah, uh, we, we just can't win this matchup. I don't know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> like, what are, what are we really supposed to do here? They gained 14 life that turn. <laughs> Alright. I believe you have defeated me, opponent. He's got Trample now, too. Yeah. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Don't think Chonky Red beats Boggles. Don't think Chonky Red beats Boggles. Alright, three and one. The trophy dreams are dead. Trophy dreams are dead. Frozen would have helped, sure. Frozen on's a card. Frozen on's a card. Alright, let's finish strong here. Get this get this four one. In modern, we always go 3-2. In Pioneer, we always go 4-1. So, Remember, folks, if you want to see a little more about me, I have a website. That's right, jimdavismtg.com. Why would you go here? Many reasons. Obviously, got uh, all my social media. All my recent articles are on here. Nice, easy, co-related to see. All my sponsors. A little bit about me. Want to see me uh, playing golf or playing music? Look, there I am. Check that out. And of course, uh, streaming and YouTube. Most important, though, is Your Deck Live, a show where I, play, where I play Your Deck Live on stream. All the info on that, how much it costs, how to get it, how to donate, how to submit, logistics, scheduling, it's all here. That's that. Articles. Articles page has my, some of my favorite past articles, too. It's really fun, too. Check it out. JimDavisMTG.com. It's a website on the internet.
They had trample last turn. I could have declared a blocker and stomped my own blocker. Oh, they didn't have trample. Um, yeah. That's true. Would that have mattered? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I, did I have a blocker, too? Like, uh, I play guitar. I play bass. I can play drums. I'm not, I'm not particularly great at drums, but... Y'all want to hear a song that I wrote? I can play a song that I wrote. That's not copyrighted. Raise your hand in chat if you want to hear a song that I wrote. What's up, Fistful? You crushed me. You crushed me. Alright, we'll keep this. This is reasonable. So this is a little solo project I was working on. I, I love instrumental post-rock music. I only wrote like two songs, but I'm playing every instrument. I'm going to play in the background. Make sure it's not too loud. Let me know if you like it. So I'm playing every instrument. I'm also the producer. Production. I should have played Muta Vault. I mean, it depends what they play here, but... Cathartic Reunion discarding Haunted Dead and Land. Alright. Um, so, dredgy stuff? Something, but not green. That's interesting. Should have probably played the Muta Vault. Torbin's not bad either, so we have a... We have like a Bone Crusher Rabble Master Torbin curve here. It's pretty good. Usually, if you synergy decks, don't don't put much removal. So, pretty good mana from them. Insolent Neonate. That's a card. I mean, problem here is that like they just have two prized amalgams and we're in big trouble. But what are we gonna do? I mean, no point in. Stopping anything. Let's mm, chill. And. It's just Rabble Master. If they have a kill spell here, it's annoying too, but. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Mono Black Vampires? No, I haven't really tried that deck. That's been on my, on my list of to-do things, but there's so many formats right now, it's just sorry, it's so hard to keep up with all of them. Wow, they had zero prized amalgams? That's nice. They have Stitchwing Scab? They could definitely have um, Elder Deep Fiend, that would suck. Alright. I mean, if they have Deep Fiend, we're probably in trouble, honestly. We can, like, I guess, Stomp and Slash, but... They got nothing? Oh, they, they could have Deep Fiend, right? So it's seven. Alright, pass priority my upkeep. God damn it. Thanks, Deacon. Tapping token, land and land. So, we're going to, I guess just kill some stuff. I guess we can leave Wild Slash up off Ramonap Ruins. Might even want to save it for Tour Brand anyway, but I think I think Bone Crusher Gianting the the flyer is fine. What's up, Salty Sloth? How's it going? Let's tap some stuff. 
Draw a card. It's another Wild Slash. If I get to cast Torbran, like, that's pretty cool. So, hopefully they don't chain Deep Fiends on me. Will Shadow Spear mess up Boggles? I mean, if Boggles is ever the best deck in the format, you can certainly beat it if you want to. There are plenty of cards that crush Boggles, you know? Boggles is usually good because decks just can't, I can't, like, we're not prepared to interact with them in any way, so we can't interact with them. If you want to beat it, you can beat it. So, Shadow Spear is just one of many tools you can use to beat it. Like, the card Back to Nature exists, you know? Oh, yeah, it hit an amalgam? Ugh. Are they shocked? It's terrifying. I don't have Deep Fiend, at least. It's good. Um... Thanks, bassist. My drumming is not phenomenal, but... Alright, so you have two three-power goblins attacking. Is there another amalgam? Oh my god, we're just so dead. Route match should come in too, honestly. Good timing in the song. When the game starts turning poorly, the song turns. Yeah, um, hmm. I mean, they're out of cards, so... Five, six, seven... What are they doing here? This is a pretty bold attack. What are they doing here? So we just, like, shock this amalgam, take five, six, seven, eight, nine, and go to one? All right. That sounds to me. I can't wait if Ralph Master dies. They're at 17. We need the power, so. I mean, if they drew deep damage, you can't win, so there's no point playing around it. Seventeen to one. AKA our chances to win this game. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a chance you can win. Holy crap. Glorybringer is worse than Warboss. I guess Warboss is one token. But we, we, we can also Wild Slash. Uh, can we win? If I slash the Neonate, we'll have one, two, three, four. I think we, I think we win. Ah, what? Well, I'm just going to do it. Math is for suckers. I don't watch college sports. So this is 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, it, it's going to be it's gonna be close, folks. It's going to come down to the wire. God! No! No! Why are you like this? I, I punted the game. I could have Mute Vault attacked on turn 2. I didn't play Mute Vault on turn 1. No. 
Threw it away. Threw it away. Glorybringer did one more damage than this, than the shock and the and the and the war boss. I don't think so. The shock killed the blocker though. We had to kill the blocker. Oh, it exerts. I'm so stupid. I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you're right. I'm just I'm I'm just the dumbest person ever. I'm so stupid. You're right. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It's my job to be an idiot on the internet so everyone can laugh at me. This is what I do. How's it going, everyone? Welcome. I'm so dumb. All right, whatever. Um, we're bringing in the Ember Cleave and the Tormod scripts. Um, I would say we're definitely not interested in Bone Crusher Giant in this matchup. They're just like far too slow and crappy. Um. I guess Chandra's worse. Yeah, Chandra seems worse. At least Bone Crusher Giant's an instant against uh, Elder Deep Fiend. Yeah, this is fine. Man, so I probably punted that game twice. Oh my god, I punted that game twice. I'm so bad. I don't know why I think of Glorybringer exerting for some reason. I was just like, it just was a flyer to me. I'm just dumb. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not a problem. We got this. I know you're worried. Did y'all like my song? What'd y'all think? Keeper Mulligan. My song. Fear of a Night is the name of the project. The song is named when your hero turns out to be a coward. I wrote that like ten years ago. <laughs> That's like one of my bucket list things to do. Like, I want to write a whole album. You know, nice, do some nice post rock stuff. So, it's on Bandcamp. You can search for fearofanight.bandcamp.com. You can go find it. Um, this hand kind of blows. I'm going to keep. We have Torbrand and a War Boss are on the play. On the draw by Mulligan. But, Doc, thanks to Reset. Appreciate that. More? It's all I got. I have like a half finished song and then that song which I finished. Do you miss playing music? You know, I stopped playing in Teach Me Human over a year ago. Make a whole album about Oko sucking. Uh, I'm gonna avoid the, uh, the 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 magic, the gathering music genre if, if I can. So Wild Slash is actually pretty good because with Torbram we're probably looking at a turn five kill. I love post rock. Just love it. Oh boy. Godspeed you, Legion War Boss. See, that was a reference to uh, a post rock band. I'm so clever. Also, reference the fact that my Legion War Boss is going to die right now. Yeah. Alright. Drawing a second tour brand, also not great, but. And they. Shocked Blood Crypt and said go. That's interesting. What is post rock? Uh, just a genre of music, um, usually instrumental. Um, it's basically what you just heard. Like my, the song I just, I just. Oh man, they have Lightning Axe Haunted Dead. That is gross. I gotta figure that one out. I think. Uh, and two amalgams. Oh my god. Oh. Brutal. So yeah, it's a uh, genre of music. It's instrumental, uh, usually instrumental, usually long, kind of ambient songs. Um, love it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can't beat this hand in a million years anyway, so. Another Haunted Dead? <laughs> They're playing a land? Oh, they, they mean they have Deep Fiend, probably. All right, we're just dead. I don't know, what am I to tell you? What do you want me to do? Would it be fair to say that post rock is similar to post modern literature is? I have a degree in English and I don't know what post modern literature is, so I have no idea. Uh, Pelican, I am unfamiliar with. Guy as an astronaut is cool. I tend to like more ambient stuff, like the. 
like the more like rocky explosions in the sky stuff it's like it's fine but it doesn't really vibe with me i like the more droney ambient stuff um earth is one of my favorite bands probably my favorite post-rock band i love earth are we still alive i mean this is 5 10 yeah we're we don't have enough enough to get through here i don't think um i mean we can kill two things But they have a haunted dead, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we're just dead. That sucks. Five, ten. If we drew a land, we had five, ten, we had fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, but they just have a, a blocker or two. Yeah, we're just dead. Alright. Pretty rough. I mean, there hadn't couldn't have been any better, so. How drony. I, I listened to that Sun Zero band once. I didn't really get it. Um, but I love Earth. Uh, this will destroy you, Mogwai. Uh, Mogwai gets, gets to be a little louder, but they're 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 when they're when they're intense, they're they're really good too. So um, I like post rock. But all right, I mean that was obviously a pretty shitty end of the league. We just lost the Boggles and insane draws from the graveyard deck. I mean, I punted game one, which is obviously my fault, but uh, this game was completely and totally been un totally unwinnable. Um, graveyard stuff. All right, so 3-2. 3-2. Not ideal. Uh, would have been forward if we were better. If you want to beat Chonky Red, play Boggles. That's what we learned today. That's what we learned. And graveyard stuff. I think that Anger the Gods should be in the sideboard. Like, it's not even close. Um, Anger is good against the Dredge decks. It's good against the... Uh, this, you know, uh, Scrappy Scrounger decks um, doesn't hurt us that bad because we're not playing our route meshes aggressively anyway. So, um, I could see that. I don't love Tormod scripts. Like, we just play Anger of the Gods instead, and it kills two birds with one stone. One stone. Stones. Plural. Um, I also think a Chain Whirler is pretty good. Not playing Chain Whirler feels weird. I don't know what you cut for Chain Whirler. Um... But, I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. Need to think about it a little bit more. Deck seems really good, though, for sure. This is definitely one of your baseline, like, Tier 1 decks in Pioneer right now. Um, until the next Tier 1 deck show up, you know? So, um, that's it for this deck. If you're watching on YouTube, please. If you want to support me, please take 10 seconds. It's all you have to do. Like the video. Leave a comment saying that Gimli uh, should not be tossed. And... Subscribe to your channel, most important one. I've got a full set review. I've got a video every day, all formats, you name it. It's all on there. Um, yeah, YouTube folks, subscribe. I love you.